I gotta testify. Come up in the spot looking extra fly. For the Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and thank you guys for watching. So today's video is gonna be a um updated makeup routine basically. Quite a few people have been asking me um just to do like a tutorial but I'm not no makeup artist I pretty much really don't know what I'm doing I just know what I'm doing on my face so it's not really gonna be a tutorial it's just literally gonna be a routine not really doing anything different and plus I'm not really using anything new I'm kind of a creature of habit and I just use what works for me and the stuff I've been using recently have been really working for me let's just get on with the video because there's no need for me to waffle on like I do so yeah okay first off I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows and I've kind of already filled them in um but I didn't show you guys what I filled them in with because this is literally like I've been doing my eyebrows like this for like god knows how long and I really don't use anything special I literally use an eyebrow pencil from the hair shop to carve out my eyebrows basically I am using um um LA girl pro conceal in fawn like I don't know if you've watched me for like since the beginning of time this is literally all I use day I die I'm a test this guy gotta testify come up in the spot looking extra fly for the day I die I'm a test this guy back when they thought pink polos I hurt the rock before cam got the shit to pop the doors closed like, that is like how I like to do my how many times gonna say like that is how I like to do my eyebrows just like that and I like a quite high arch I don't know if that is high to you guys um but yeah that's how i like to do my eyebrows so i'm just gonna go and do the other one hey guys i'm sorry about um this mirror thing here but i just i just can't get past it so you just guys are just gonna have to ignore it please now that i've done my eyebrows i'm just gonna go in and color correct i have the worst deep set under eyes like ever i literally hate them you can literally see them through like when i'm wearing a full face as well so as soon as i get money that is like the first thing i'm gonna fix i don't know whether to put like fillers to like bring it out i don't know what it just is like i just don't know and i'm just gonna blend that out i felt like bad boy street team i couldn't work the locks now let's go Take them back to the plan. Me and my mama hopped in that U-Haul van. Any pessimists, I ain't talk to them. Plus, I ain't had no phone in my apartment. Let's take them back to the club. Lisa so, after I've done that, I'm going to go in and use my Avon Cosmetic um, Color Trend Translucent Tan Powder. It's a very long name. But, again, if you've been with me from the start, you guys know that I... I been using this i always use this so i just put this um all over my face before i put my foundation whatever technique y'all want to call it that's what i do guys if you can see this part of my frontal lifting it's because i haven't like glued it down properly i usually like to do that after i've put my makeup on about an hour i stand online i just wanted to dance i went to take up an hour after i got my after i've done that now i'm gonna apply my foundation and as of recently, I'd like to be applying my foundation with a beauty blender and a beauty blender only. It has literally changed, where is it even? For my foundation, I have been using this Fit Me Maybelline um, Matte and Poreless for normal to oily skin. And I use it in the color 350, but this color is not my exact skin color. As you can see, it's a tad too dark so I like to mix it with my fawn um concealer um LA Girl concealer and it just gives me the perfect color that might seem a lot to you guys but if that's a lot then okay I don't care no but this is too much so I'm like what are you doing then I'm gonna take my um beauty blender and 
basically blend it out. Advance, I just wanted to shine. J favorite line, dog, and due time. Now you look at me like damn dog, you what I am. A hip hop legend. I think I died in an accident. Cause this must be heaven. So now that I've done my foundation, I'm gonna go and apply my concealer. So I'm using um my MAC studio fix concealer i think it's called i can't remember the name so i'm just going to take my beauty blender and blend that all out and i'm not really going to let that dry because it's a very thick heavy concealer so if i let it dry it's going to get to the point where it doesn't really blend i got to testify come up in the spot then sometimes i like to use the back of my beauty blender the part where um, I used to blend out my foundation and just go over the concealer so it just kind of blends in seamlessly. So I'm using what I was using in my last video and it is the Makeup Revolution Luxury Powder in Banana. I love this powder, it's like crack. I absolutely love it, like I cannot get enough of it. This is the only powder I've used since like the beginning of the year like it's literally amazing i've stopped using my laura mercier for this and this is only five pounds and laura mercier is let's just say it's not five pounds okay i look at extra fly but i like to like blend it in a lot more than i usually used to do because like i don't like the whole baking i bake but not bake bake i like usually like to blend it in and then put a small amount on top of it to actually bake because the whole baking thing leaves my under eyes very dry and very cracked and it just doesn't look nice the day I die, I'm a guy. Test okay now that i've done that i'm gonna go in and i usually should i do my eyes and then do contour Yeah, let's do my eyes before I do contour. For my eyes, I'm gonna be doing the look that I've been rocking recently. That's usually just like this coppery, like two shadows, maximum kind of a look. Uh, yeah, like I said, I just like to keep it real, real, real simple. I'm just gonna go in with this Morphe palette. This is not even mine. This is Shez's, but she left it here the last time she came. So I'm gonna use it. And I'm gonna go in with this orange color. Um, I'm gonna go in with this orange color and this orange color in as a transition color. And I'm using this Real Techniques brush. I don't know what kind of brush this is. Come up in the spot looking extra fly for the day I die. Then I'm gonna go into a palette I've really, really enjoyed using. And it's my Makeup Revolution palette in Reloaded Neutrals 2. And I'm just gonna go in with this brown color right here. And I'm just gonna take that in the crease. And I think I'm using this Real Techniques brush. And just gonna put it like so. I'm a scan, let's take them uh, I know it's looking a bit crazy right now, it's looking a bit mad, but I'm gonna make that better, don't you worry. Now I want to blend everything out and make it look, you know, seamless and not crazy because I have really small eyelids. So like carrying the eyeshadow like all the way up my eyes is not going to look good. I'm not going to look normal. So I'm going to take a tiny bit of that powder that I put underneath my eyes, my Makeup Revolution powder. I'm going to take this brush. I'm just going to blend that out. Just so I look somewhat normal. Take them high. Hello. Hi, Dad. The next thing I'm going to do is take this um, eyeshadow palette that I got from eBay, and it looks really messy. So it's supposed to be like a dupe 
of the Morphe palette and then I'm just gonna take um these two colors yeah these two colors right here and that is what I'm going to be using as my lid color and I'm just going to use my finger because these shadows are really powdery so I feel like when I use a brush sometimes it doesn't really give the best results now I'm going to move on to contour and for contour I'm going to use this foundation from like the hair shop it might not necessarily be the best thing for my skin but oh well but yeah I'm just going to use this foundation from the hair shop in the colour honey and I really like using this because um it's like the right kind of ready like undertone that i want for my contour i hate a dark cold contour i love my contour to look bronzy and brown like that is just how i love my contour la, la, la. and then i'm gonna just take this um this buffing brush and I'm just gonna blend that all out. I do anything to say I got it. Damn them new loafers hurt my pocket. Before anybody wanted K West beats me and my girls with the buffer yet KFC. Dog, I was having and then I'm gonna take what's left on that brush that I use to put the contour on my face and I'm just gonna take that down and contour my nose. I cannot go anywhere without contouring my nose. Nervous breakdowns, like man, these niggas that much better than me, baby. I'm going. I'm just gonna take the back of my beauty blender, where what I use to um, basically blend out my foundation, and use that to blend out the lines between my contour and my powder. And then I'm gonna take the clean side of the beauty blender. And blend out my contour on my nose on an airplane and I don't know if I'll be back and then now I'm gonna go in with my powder contour and basically set that um, set my liquid contour and I like to use a particular eyeshadow from this palette the one that I used on my lid I just feel like it just looks really good it makes my skin look really bronzy and brown and just so I don't look like an Oompa Loompa and look entirely too orange I'm gonna go in with my sleek contour palette and this is in the color medium and I can't show it to you guys because it's literally broken to smithereens. And I just take some of that dark brown colour and some of that bronzy colour. And I put it there. I like to take my um, powder and put some here on the edge of my lips and like my smile lines and then i'm gonna take my rose water combination it's literally just rose water and water and i'm just gonna spray that on my face ain't it kicking things became different any girl i cheated on she just skeeted on couldn't keep it at home thought i needed a need so i'm just gonna put some mascara on and then put on my lashes the lashes of choice that we're using today are C Lux lashes and they are um I know this damn thing won't zoom in like guys go fund me I really need a new camera but I am using C Lux lashes and they're from the lovely Chesney mm, that's my sis y'all but yeah I'm using her brand lashes and I will leave the link for these down below and these are in the um these are in the style caress and they're all handmade lashes anyway so now that i've done that i'm gonna go in with the lips so first thing i'm gonna do is line my lips and i'm just gonna use this brown liner from the hair shop i'm trying to write my wrongs but it's funny them saying wrongs tell me write this then i'm gonna go in with some lip gloss and this lip gloss 
is the Samani Collection Lip Gloss. This lip gloss is from my sis as well, Michelle. Shout out to you. Shout out to all my girl bosses really again. That was a horrible accent. But yeah, I am using the shade Miami and it's just like a pink, nudie pink kind of color. Oh, gorgeous. That pigment. Oh, now. I gotta testify. Come up in the spot, look at extra fly. Gorgeous, like that. Literally gorgeous. Look at it. It honestly makes my lips look so good. Like this is crack cocaine, y'all. Wow. I I just wow. I cannot get enough of this lip gloss. I'm waiting for Michelle to bring out some more nudes. And the lashes too, gorgeous. Wow, I really love these. The lashes, the lip gloss, gorgeous, gorgeous. It makes me so happy that on my face, I'm actually wearing, like I'm actually wearing the products of my friends, like wow. Wow, 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 I'm so impressed. Now I'm gonna, go in and spray my face again with that rose water combination. And then I'm gonna go in and do my highlight and I'm just gonna take this small brush, I don't know what it's called, and then I'm gonna take an oldie but goodie and I'm gonna take my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and I'm gonna take a mix of this golden color that's almost finished and this color here for the day you die you gonna trust the sky you gonna trust the sky. and then i'm gonna take a small eyeshadow brush and use this color here and a mix of that and i'm gonna put it down my nose this is my most favorite part of my makeup routine yeah baby girl testify come up in the spot look at extra fly for the day you die and then i take it here on my nose to give the appearance of a button nose. I think that is literally everything for my face. And again, just gonna go in some more rose water. And I love this rose water combo because it just makes everything gel and stick together and just kind of look seamless. And I'm just gonna go fix my hair and my frontal and I'll be back. I've gone and I've done my hair um I just pulled it back into this like low pony which I've just been really loving right now um one thing I didn't show you is what I put on my cheeks and what I use for blush and recently I have been loving and living for um the Milani baked powder blush in the color rose Doro in the color O2 that's what I think it is and this is just gorgeous it gives me like that really like nice illuminated glow on my cheeks and it's just gorgeous and I just take this real techniques brush and I just dab it like that just a tad just a dab you gonna touch the sky yes 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 guess who's on third Lupe still like looping the third and then for the finishing touches, I go in with my um, MAC Medium Deep Mineralized Skin Fish pow Finish Powder. And I just put that all over my face just to just to set that wall okay guys so that is everything for my updated makeup routine in no way is this a tutorial it is literally what i like to do and i've been doing on my face and i really like it i love the gloss i love the lashes i just kind of love the glowy look that i've been going for recently i just want to say thank you guys for all the support and all the love i think we recently hit 5k and now we're literally almost at 6k and if you're new here hello what's up how y'all doing but yeah thank you guys for all the love for all the support like it just honestly means the world to me all your comments all your likes like literally just 
honestly just means so much to me so thank you guys i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in my next one